Okay, so a floppy disk, a VHS tape, and a cassette tape walk into a bar. Never mind, I was should try something different. Shut up and sit down. Um, okay, so hey, so I made the video uh, about the, the Node MCU uh, building the box and, and the Christmas lights and everything and uh, the time lapse video. Um, it was it was not very good. Uh, I didn't like it. Uh, the the videos itself, you couldn't really see anything. Uh, it was bad lighting. Um, so I'm redoing the video, and that's what you have here. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to show some pictures, uh, narrate over the pictures that I took while I was building the process, so you can kind of sense for what we're doing. And I'll probably I'll show the the final uh, pieces, and then uh, it should shorten the length of the video and also be a little bit more instructive and illustrative. Uh, on what we're trying to do here. So um, that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. What you see here in front of you is actually a picture of the finished product. Um, I wanted to show you the finished product first to kind of walk you through how it's constructed and then I'll quickly walk you through some build pictures. Uh, so right off the back, we're gonna we're gonna zoom in here a little bit on uh, one of the sides. So what you see is kind of at the top are the node mcu units um on both uh, one on the left and one on the right there's some wires coming off of the left hand side of the node mcu printed circuit board to lead down into the uh, connector area um, and then another set of wires on uh the the left hand side as well but on the, the lower left hand side that lead down into the power supplies um, and then you will see at the bottom here the uh, connectors on the left side, and there's another one on the right hand side. We're going to zoom in a little bit and show you the connectors on the left hand and the right hand side here. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, so, what you can see here is the um, wires from the Node MCU leading to the uh, connectors. So, the wires that have kind of an L in them. Uh, lead down into the connectors on the left hand and the right hand side and then the wires on the node MCU on the lower left hand sides of the boards uh, lead directly into the power supply. So what you have here is um, at the bottom, at the very bottom here, you have the mains power coming in to the power supply. This is the 120 volts uh, US um, that comes in off the uh, wall socket or whatever you're plugging into and leads into the power supply on both the left hand and the right hand side. It actually goes directly into the left hand side and then there are jumpers to the right hand side. Um, and then uh, there are wires uh, that connect to the 5 volt output of the power supply that lead into the node MCU and then the wires on the top with a little L in it are actually the uh, also 5 volt ground and the signal wire that go out to the LEDs. Um, so that's kind of a quick overview of what we have going here on this picture. Um, so now uh, we're going to switch over to uh, just kind, kind of some uh, build pictures for lack of a, a better uh, description. So real quick, uh, uh, just a picture of some of the wires. Uh, what I've done is I've showed you I've laid out uh, groups of wires here. You can see here there's a green, black, and white wire. Uh, they're equal sized. Uh, something to note about this particular configuration here. Uh, the wires that connect into the uh, power supplies uh, versus the wires that connect into the connectors, um, the, the amount of uh, insulation you need to strip is just a little bit different there. Uh, you don't want too much insulation stripped off of the one going into the connectors um, because there's not a lot of room to play with. Um, but conversely, you don't want too much going to the power supply as well. So next picture real quick, uh, we're going to show you is actually uh, setting up the jig for doing some um, uh, tinning of the wires here. What you want to do is you want to make sure all the wires going to be that are going to be soldered should be tinned before you solder them. Uh, and what that means is you're just going to uh, put a little solder on the end of the wire. Um, uh, now, what you do not want to do is you do not want to put solder on the wires that are um, going to be attached to the power supply. That's a no-no for a variety of reasons. Um, basically, the solder joint can break down over time um, and cause a failure. Uh, so you don't want to you don't want to do that. 
Okay, so the next picture I'm showing you is actually just a picture of the wires that were uh, tinned. Um, there's nothing magical here. Just uh, put a little solder on the ends, make sure there's pretty good coverage there so that when you attach them to the um, uh, either the other wires or the connector that you're soldering to, there's uh, makes good adhesion there. So uh, the next picture actually shows those wires uh, that I tinned in the uh, attached to the connector. You can see there how, uh, especially on the green one here, how there's really good adhesion. Um, the wire fits down into the socket of the connector very nicely, um, and there's good solder all the way around. Uh, you will notice here uh, the one connector, uh, or the one wire, I'm sorry, on the left-hand side, the white wire there is a little less solder. It's okay. It's well connected across the bottom around where the crown is there. Um, just a little uh, less solder, so uh, not quite ideal, but um, it's still uh, okay, nevertheless. Uh, so the next picture just shows uh, the heat shrink tubing on the on the cables, uh, and then we're showing you a picture of uh, the, the soldering. I'm sorry, the um, uh, heat gun uh, just warming up and warming up the connector. Uh, warm, I'm sorry, warming up the um, heat shrink tubing uh, so it shrinks down into a position and then uh, final picture there of the heat shrink tubing uh, all shrunken down and you can see how it's got some nice little ribs there uh, where it uh, firmly adhered to the uh, to the where the solder was uh, so the next picture actually shows the uh, mains power voltage uh, connector coming in from the bottom here uh, you can see how the wires just lead straight up um, and they will be attached to the left hand power supply and then we will run jumpers to the uh, to the right hand side. Next picture shows uh, just connection of the, the black wire here uh, which in this case is the uh, actual um, uh, power wire uh, as opposed to the neutral um, wire which in this case is white uh, and you can see I've attached on the left-hand side the wire coming in from the power connector and then on the right-hand side of this uh, screw connector here uh, I've actually attached the jumper that will go off to the power supply on the right-hand side. Uh, so the next picture is all of the uh, wires connected to the left-hand power supply and the jumpers uh, connected to the right-hand power supply. A nice clean wiring you can see here um, all the wires are neatly placed uh, under the screws, no insulation under the screws, just the copper wire and the screws are tightened down. Um, so uh, good grouping of the wires here, nice and tight and clean. That's what we're looking for. Uh, the next uh, picture is just a close-up of the wires on the uh, jumper side. You can see how the wires are under the uh, little metal crimpers there um, and they're pushed down and squeezed down in. Um, I didn't use uh, the Pharrell's um, or ferrules uh, on these. These particular power supplies uh, have um, the width uh, between the, 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 the screws is so small that I couldn't get uh, connectors that would fit uh, in that width uh, and also support the diameter of the wires we have here. Uh, the next picture I have is uh, just showing you uh, all of the wires on the uh, left-hand power supply. The, uh, in this case, all of the um, incoming voltage is on the left-hand side of the connectors and all of the jumper wires are on the right-hand side. Just try to remain consistent with the wiring so it's nice and clean and easy to debug in the future. Next picture, just a kind of a distance shot again, just showing you uh, the clean wires um, and the wiring jumpers. Um, next picture here is showing you um, the, the, the node MCUs with the power wires connected. I connected them to the screw. Uh, connectors on the, the lower left hand side of each printed circuit board there um, and then the next picture shows connecting those wires directly into the power supply of where the 5 volt is coming out of the power supply you can see the black wire is ground which is V negative in this case and then the red wire is uh, 5 volts or V positive in this case okay well that's it those are all the pictures I have of the build I hope you uh, found this useful and instructive um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, I hope you liked it. If you do like it, please give uh, the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, as always, I would appreciate you giving a thumbs up anyway. Um, until next time, we hope to get you soon. And uh, please subscribe, which is going to be 
somewhere around around there and then hopefully you get the opportunity to watch the rest of the videos which are in the playlist which i'm going to stick somewhere right around there uh so again have a great uh day and we'll hope to see you soon thanks everyone